What is geometric abstraction? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years, and we're here to address that question. Now, geometric sounds like geometry is being used, and abstraction, that sounds like art. And if you think that it's some kind of a art using abstract art using geometry well that's actually what geometric abstraction is so we're just going to get into a little bit of the definition of what geometric abstraction is to help you get a better understanding as to what's involved the first part of the definition of geometric abstraction is it is abstract art using simple geometric form and non-illusionistic space in other words they use geometric shapes some of it using patterns, some of it not, but it's drawn in, in such a way that there's no, there are no illusions. In other words, what you see on the art is what you get. You can find other things in there, but it's not like a magic eye kind of art. It's, it's not what geometric abstraction is supposed to be. What you see in there and what you detect and what you find is what's actually in the painting or the work of art. It's present in decorative motifs, as well as different art pieces. And it's a pattern-based art because there's various patterns involved. Sometimes patterns make up the entire painting, sometimes just part of the painting, without relying on recognizable forms and reality. In other words, each kind of art is self-contained. You're not reminded of other things that are placed in reality. So this gives you some ideas as to what geometric abstraction is. I'm Jimmy Chang.